Hi, I'm Kevin from Easy Generator Switch, and today I'd like to go over the difference between a bonded neutral generator and a floating neutral generator. Those are the two types that are made in the United States and Canada, and the types that we deal with all the time. So I've drawn some pictures real quick to show you the difference. The bonded neutral generator on the top shows that the neutral is physically bonded to the external frame of the generator itself and then you would connect a ground wire to a ground rod per the manufacturer's recommendation. The floating neutral generator setup has the neutral into the windings but that winding is not bonded to the frame of the generator itself. You still need this ground rod and your wire per the manufacturer's recommendation and that's in case the hot leg touches the frame or the neutral with a load on it should touch the frame and should want to discharge to the, to the frame of the generator. Without this connected and that became live, you come over and touch it, you'd probably get a shock. So let's talk about in the floating neutral generator case, our switch physically connects the neutral from either your furnace, a light, a sump pump, whatever you're connected to, it physically will connect the neutral from the generator to the existing neutral and connect to the neutral ground bus in the panel which has two ground rods. This then satisfies the code because you need to have the neutral bonded. So the code is satisfied here. Now, in the same respect, we obviously would connect the uh, load to the generator. Again, all done inside the switch. When you come back up to the bonded neutral generator, the neutral is already bonded, so we can't bond it again. So what our switch does is it disconnects that neutral inside the switch, connects it to the neutral of the generator, and obviously disconnects the feed to, again, the furnace, or the refrigerator circuit or the sump pump, whatever you're connected to, and then connects that. Now you can see the generator is completely isolated from your house. There's no connection, so the code is satisfied. Down here in the floating neutral generator section, again, we need to bond that neutral, so we bond it through the panel and we just connect to the existing neutral and the code is satisfied. Um, I hope that answers a lot of questions and uh, clears things up a little bit. If you have any questions, just send us an email and we'll uh, do the best we can to get back to you right away. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.